Well, the way I first got into video gaming was uh, the people in my neighborhood, some of their children had a game, and my son came in and said, they've got this amazing new thing. we got to have one. And so, as any parent, I went over and I bought him a game. And within a few days, it became apparent that, really, I bought the game for myself. Video games, a whole new media of entertainment, completely different from the movies or the TV, known for immersing players in their own world, separate from reality, video games have become a huge part of today's society as a whole. Whether you're playing puzzle games, multiplayer games, or arcade games, whether you're playing on the Xbox, PS4, or on the PC, most players can agree on one thing, video games are awesome. The brown box was invented by Ralph Baer back in 1967, and it was designed to be the first multiplayer, multi-program video game system. Though only a prototype, the brown box had basic features that most video game consoles still have today two controls, and a multi-game program system. The prototype was then licensed to Magnavox and was later released as the Magnavox Odyssey in 1972. My opinion on older gaming is they paved the way to where the games are today. I mean, gaming started in 1967 with the brown box. It was a game called Chase. Um, it was two squares on a TV that kept going back and forth and you tried to catch the other gentleman like on playing catchers. Uh, and now look at what we have today. We have MMOs where you're playing with people in other parts of the world. Magnavox Odyssey. The Magnavox Odyssey was released in 1972 and it was the first home video game system for consumers to purchase. Since the Odyssey had limited graphical capabilities and displayed only a few small white blocks on a vertical line, Magnavox included translucent color overlays to provide settings and layouts for the games. With approximately 350,000 units sold, Magnavox Odyssey was not considered a commercial success, despite marking the beginning of the video game console industry. Maze Wars was the first graphical video game to be networked and allowed players to interact and fight with each other. You can see why Maze Wars is a giant mark on the industry of video games. Just think about it. Call of Duty or Battlefield originated from this small but huge game from 1974. The idea of creating a 3D game in the 1970s, especially considering that the world's most popular video game at the time was Pawn, was almost laughable. But ultimately, the creator was able to pull it off. Maze Wars Legacy is hard to overstate. It helped create the first person shooter, online gaming, and internet gaming. Atari 2600 The Atari 2600 was released in 1977 and quickly became the most popular console compared to its competition. It was superior in almost every possible way, compared to some of its competitors. It had better graphical capabilities, and it was more of a commercial success than the Magnavox Odyssey. And it's definitely marked its legacy in the video game industry. Mine! No, George. Mine. The new video computer system by Atari. <laughs> more games, more fun. The first video game I played was Pong, and it was simply because it was the first commercially available game and that was in 1977. I thought it was like the, the second coming of Jesus. I mean look there was this thing, this TV I could watch and all of a sudden it became more of an entertainment center. Something we gathered around instead of just mindlessly watching TV we were able to participate with the television. Pong was the I guess the very start of gaming and it has definitely improved by a lot instead of just a bar and a dot. Missing Slice of Pizza inspires Namco's Toro Iwatani to create Pac-Man. The same year, Pac-Man becomes the first arcade game to become a home console game, and it took the world by storm in 1980. 
two years later, Mrs. Pac-Man strikes a blow for gender equality by becoming the best-selling arcade game of all time. You know, the first Super Mario Brothers was probably that game that had enough um, lore about itself to draw people who thought gaming was sort of ridiculous, it wasn't something you, you kept you from going outside. And, and when Super Mario Brothers came along, it was so unique, full of color, full of different obstacles and different platforms to play on, that it really started attracting millions of players and was probably the first, I would say, major breakthrough game. World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft took the world by storm in 2004 when the MMORPG was released by Blizzard Entertainment. World of Warcraft is, to this date, considered the greatest MMORPG of all time. Millions of players are still playing the game, even 12 years after its initial release. I'm Chuck Norris, and I approve this game. Well, my favorite game is World of Warcraft. I mean, um, uh, my grandchildren came to me and said, we want to play this game and we need to get to a certain level. And uh, I said, well, you know, I'll, after work, I'll get on and I'll play. I've now been playing World of Warcraft for about seven years. I think it's probably the best MMO game out there. Uh, it's an endless game. There's no conclusion to the game because it's, it's continually evolving into new platforms. And so I'd say you know, World of Warcraft is probably my most favorite game. I think World of Warcraft is a very excellent MMO. Um, it has constant updates and expansions releasing. It's a very fun game. Gaming today. In conclusion, over time, the video game industry has changed since its initial debut in 1967, when the brown box was created. From graphical improvements to new stories and worlds to explore and discover, the gaming industry has definitely changed. Whether it's for the greater, or for the worse, it has definitely changed. I think the new consoles have changed a lot. I didn't get to experience all the consoles, obviously, but they have definitely improved over the time. Modern gaming has improved a lot from uh, better graphics to, I don't know, gameplay in general. Uh, companies are actually listening to the people's people and what they think about the games. When you talk about modern gaming, there's m so many different layers of gaming today. The, um, the MMOs are probably my most favorite because of the multiple platforms you have on them. But you've got to realize that the gaming of today would not be where it's at had they not had earlier games. And so I don't discount the earlier games. But I think the modern games have, is an evolution of what it started in 1967. Whether you play video games or not, we can all agree that video games have made an impact on society. And mostly for the better. We now have entertainment systems that we can play and interact with and be a part of. It's, way, it's completely different from the TV or the movies and it's a completely new form of media. And it is called video games. Like be pouring a drink on. I didn't tell you about this game. Right now, I'm not telling you.